Right. Today's math lesson is going to focus on integers. What we talked about yesterday, those whole numbers, their opposites and zero and looking at them on a number line today. So just a few reminders when we're talking about positive numbers, those numbers are going to go to the right or they're going to go up above zero. And if we're talking about those negative numbers, they'll go to the left or they're going to go down below zero. Those are not straight lines at all, but you can see what I mean. So on a number line, it's asking us what direction we would have to go and how far is the distance from the origin. Remember, our origin is zero. So if we're going to the positive two, we have to go two to the right. Just going to put an R as I'm writing with my mouse. And if I'm going negative two, then I have to go two to the left. And two and negative two are opposites because they're both two units away from zero. This number line is going up and down vertically. So it's asking us what is the distance to get to five. So this goes five up. And if we need to get to negative five, we would have to go five down. And again, these integers are opposites because they're both five units away from zero. So on this number line, it's asking us to identify each of these points. So here's zero. We can see here's 10 and we're talking about whole numbers. So each of these is just one unit away. So if I'm going to A, that's one, two, three backwards. So that's going to be negative three. B is one to the right, so positive one. So to get to C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we went to the left, so that's a negative. And D is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right, so seven to the positive. All right, have a good day.